Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have two GSMs today. What is GSM? Uh, it's nothing to do with the phone signal. It's, um, if you're a Spinal Tap so uh, fan, uh, there's a song that they refer to as GSM, Give Me Some Money. Um, obligatory Spinal Tap reference in a wine video, has to be done. Uh, Grenache Shiraz, stroke Syrah, uh, Mourvedre, that's what it stands for. It's the blends that uh, Australia's been doing probably for 15 years now, um, uh, maybe even a bit more. Um, aimed at um, not aping or emulating Chateauneuf du Pap, uh, but um, Shiraz by itself, in a, with both of these wines are from the Barossa Valley. A lot of the Barossa Valley is too hot for Shiraz by itself. Grenache is a much more uh, forgiving grape for all that heat. Mourvedre too. Uh, but Syrah in a little bit just adds a, some spice and character. So, not sure what the proportions of these two are, but um, they're both about the same price. But uh, I'm starting with the younger of the two, which is Barossa Valley Estate GSM 2014. Give it a whirl. Now, there's a slightly um, confected, no, not confected. There's a juicy, friendly jamminess to it, jammy dodges. Uh, a little bit of um, a licorice clove. Um, and it's quite pale in colour. Sometimes you, you get um, uh, mint coming through in, in South Australian Grenache, particularly if you're in Clare Valley, but these two are both Barossa, as I said. Um, uh, but here, it's, uh, the, the mint, there's no evidence of the mint. What you have instead is this um, friendliness, and uh, it smells like it's gonna be tasty. Good, honest glug. Um, I think once upon a time, I think 10 years ago, it would have been fuller, darker, fleshier than that, and maybe not as gluggable. It's not quite a wine that you'd want to chill, but um, on a hot day, uh, if you took it from a cool cellar and drank it at that temperature, it would uh, almost be refreshing. Good barbecue fodder. It wouldn't dominate, but it would complement, and those earthy spice characters that are going on underneath make it um, rather appealing. Let's see what the second one's like. Uh, this is McGuigan, uh, the shortlist, and GSM again. Sometimes you have um, Grenache, Mauvais de Shiraz. You never have the MSG. I uh, wonder why. But anyway, uh, difference is, is here it's two years older, so 2012. And yes, it is showing that little bit more development. There's a softer, uh, maybe jammy was the wrong word. No, yeah, jammy I think is a fair thing to say about the uh, Barossa Valley estate. Here uh, it's relaxed a little bit more and it's getting more um, truffly and um, yeah, comfy rather than jam. And also feels like it's got more grip and more tannin to it, uh, more substance. Um, alcohol wise, 14.5% versus 14, so not really much in it, but. Here it feels that like the uh, the raw materials had a little bit more poke, a little bit more power, but not power in the sense that it's going to overwhelm you. There's still that edge of freshness, and I look at the colour, and it's definitely a red wine rather than uh, a black wine. Um, I like them both. Um, I, I, I'm not. I don't think this Barossa Valley Estate is going to quite evolve into um, in, into the the McGuigan. Um, I. Um, I prefer the McGuigan, but there's not all that much in it. They're both pretty good adverts for, um, for for GSM, so go out and get some. Get, go, gets, no, it doesn't quite work, does it? I'll shut up. See you soon.